My position is chapter president, and our chapter consists of all of Pennsylvania and all of Delaware. Uh, I was lucky enough to get involved with Operation Homefront uh, through a previous job that I had. I had a chance to get to know one of the board members uh, very intimately and really became passionate about the cause. A friend of mine from high school, he started working at Operation Homefront, and he asked a couple times if I would want to volunteer um, to help out, and I said, sure, I would. My friend became the uh, chapter president and, and asked me to, uh, to go speak for him. That was the first time that I, that I really got involved. Getting back out of the Marines and back from Iraq, I, I realized um, how lucky I am to have like, a good support system. Our mission, we provide emergency financial assistance to all branches of the military and uh, families while the service members are deployed and morale programs to service members and their families. I think it's good for people to know that there are like nonprofits out there and other organizations that will help um, and give assistance beyond what the government provides. Our group is mainly focused on service members' families while the service member is deployed and when they return from combat. If you go in the military and anything happens to you, you're going to be taken care of. People care. People will help you out. A utility bill, threat of eviction or housing related issue. Sometimes we've paid deposits for families to get into apartments in the past. We are all, you know, the same people. You know, we're all, you know, it could be anybody. You know, it could have been you, if you, you know, it could be your son, it could be your father uh, that serves. There were, there were many, um, many ways that I was supported when I got home. I mean, it's tough. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, a bit of a culture shock going from being in the military to being a civilian again. I sometimes struggle with anxiety. I mean, I was in a combat zone and it's very different. The anxiety of being in a war zone um, kind of alters your personality a little bit. When you first get back, it's very different. Um, it, you're, very, you're very on edge most of the time. You, you're always thinking, you know, where is the danger? That feeling really never goes away, but you just kind of learn to cope with it. But yeah, anything, anything with a, an anxiety disorder, it's just heightened anxiety. It's just normal day-to-day -day life. The idea behind what Operation Homefront does is more than just to pay bills for the short term. I think it's good for people to know that there are like nonprofits out there and, and other organizations that will help um, and give assistance beyond what the government provides. We work with service members and their families to make sure that the snowballing effect of built up bills that are past due doesn't continue. The things that affect a normal person um, might have more of an effect on you. If they're on the path where they'll be able to afford the bills next month and be able to continue to live in a way that they're not getting behind or not facing these sort of issues again. A lot of times it's, it's easy um, in the society we live in to feel sorry for yourself and feel like you're having a bad day, but um, once you have a really bad day overseas, you uh, kind of appreciate life when you get back. But of course, you know, you gotta, you gotta um, do your job too. It's not, you know, it's not time to be sad. It's, it's time to stay focused on what you're doing, and if you don't stay focused, then you're not coming back alive. People have been supportive of me. Uh, you know, everybody just wanted to help. We were the support system that we rolled out the red carpet, essentially, to make them feel welcome, to let them know that we're there to support them and that we care a lot about them. Well, overseas, I would think about family, friends, everything that I was missing back at home. Our group is mainly focused on service members' families while the service member is deployed and when they return from combat. If you go in the military and anything happens to you, you're gonna be taken care of. People care, people will help you out. Getting back out of the Marines and back from Iraq, I, I realized um, how lucky I am to have like, a good support system. The main focus area is to make sure that the service members are not stressed during their deployment worrying about their family's financial concerns while they're at home. That's the main focus, that hence the name Operation Homefront.